Ask Reddit by Kingpin1010. What life-changing item can you buy for less than $100? Two pet ducks. You may be tempted to go for one. But trust me. You need two. And you'll have about $76 left over. Edit. Fully humbled by the awards, kind friends. They don't tell you this in school, but the ducks in the park are free. Nice try Jeff Bezos. Another monitor. Your productivity will increase dramatically. I have three. But maybe you are right. A nasal irrigation kit either the electronic pump or simply the squeeze bottles. I started using them both leading up to surgery on my sinuses, and I haven't stopped using them since. It takes some getting used to, but the relief and clean feeling is amazing. Deleted. AeroPress coffee maker. The thing broke my wife of her $200 monthly Starbucks habit. The unit costs maybe $25 or so. House plants. They will make you happy looking after them. I recently bought a Venus flytrap. She caught her first fly today. So proud. This is so wholesome I could die. I started keeping and growing plants and herbs, and just not killing them feels like such a huge accomplishment. Seeing a new sprout is like a celebration. Now I understand why people have graduations for kindergarten. Rice cooker. That fucker kept me fed during depression when I barely had the energy to get out of bed. Takes less than nothing to get some rice in there and flip the switch. Want something sweet? Throw coconut and sugar in there. Want flavor but can't be fucked to make anything? Get some Spanish rice or saffron going. You can throw tofu in there with it if you need. Yeah it's not the best for you but hot food is better than no food. New pair of socks. If you've been wearing the same pairs forever like I typically usually do there's nothing like putting on a new pair of freshly bought socks. You can totally feel the difference. I never realized till was an adult sadly but I appreciate the feeling of new socks all the time. I bought a $1 back scratcher from a nation market in town. Best $1 I ever spent. I bought two. Bamboo. Very nice. A decent light wake up alarm clock. Completely changed my mornings. Don't think I could ever go back to using my phone or a simple alarm clock. Would it help wake up non-morning people like myself? If so, link. If you have trouble getting up or functioning in the morning, and like a nice cup of coffee or tea, an electric kettle with a timer can be a real game changer. Or just getting an electric kettle if you don't have one. Vertical mouse $20. Saved my wrist using it at work all day. It looks odd but it feels so much more natural. I even got a bunch of people at my office to buy one after they tried mine. Edit. Here's the equals vertical plus mouse and amp. Kid equals 1,595,422,956 and amp. Sprefix equals vertic and amp. SR equals 8-3. To the one I have for those interested. This was a lifesaver for me. I made a special trip to my office once mandated work from home started in March because I need it. After I got it, I got some weird lucks from office mates but started to see them picking them up too. A king sized blanket for a queen sized bed. I got a king for a double bed. Best decision ever. The double sheets fit the bed. But I couldn't snuggle completely under them without curling up. Now. I can hide completely under the duvet stretched out. Best thing ever in the winter. This post cost me over $400 so far. Wait, yeah I'll have money? Sharp knives for the kitchen. I put off buying a whetstone for a long time. Mostly because I was nervous I would use it wrong and ruin my knives. But it's not too hard at all if you get one with an angle guide. Makes chopping stuff up faster, easier and damp, safer. A glass breaker on a keychain. Push it against the glass of your car window and it shatters immediately, 
helping you get out of a car underwater, broken door etc. Super cheap and life saving. I have, these, https colon slash slash, www.amazon.com, slash gp, slash product, slash b01axcgjnq, slash ref ppx underscore yo underscore dt underscore b underscore search underscore as an underscore title question mark i not f8 ampers and amp semicolon ps1 close bracket things. They can cut your seat belt in a pinch, too. In my opinion definitely a weighted blanket if you have a hard time sleeping at night or have anxiety. They have some at Target for $25 currently. Deleted. Motion sensor night lights. Can't tell you how many stubbed toes or falls they have prevented. Also a cheap intruder alarm. Get a motion activated toilet bowl light. They're amazing. Don't kill your eyes in the middle of the night when you gotta pee. Carbon monoxide detector. Post-it notes are far cheaper. More than one 10mm socket. Excuse me while I cry. One 7 stroke 16th of an inch at a time. Blackout curtains for your bedroom. Changes your life if you want to sleep all day. I refuse to have them in my room after living like a vampire for a few years. Sunscreen. No skin cancer for me. For anyone that disagrees with this comment. I've had multiple skin cancer surgeries. It's not the scalpel cutting flesh away from your body that hurts the most during the procedure. It's whatever liquid they inject into you to deaden the nerves around the cancer that hurts. The needles don't hurt but that shit they inject into you is effing nasty. Wear your sunscreen kids. An air compressor to air up your tires. Got one off Amazon for 30 bucks. To add to this, a jumper. Basically a battery in a box that has battery clamps. For jump starting your vehicle. Get one that has a DC ACK outlet so you can use it to power small electronics when you have a power outage at home. I would not recommend combination jumper air compressor units. Would suggest separate jumper and air compressor. Note, doesn't hurt to have actual old fashioned jumper cables too. A 10 foot charging cable. Or a quality pair of shoes. Fuck me I'm reading this hunched over with my phone plugged into an impossibly short charging cable. National Park Annual Pass. If you're a veteran with any percent disability rating, they're free for life. If you have a large lawn or a property that requires a lot of yard work get some, 3M work tunes, https colon slash slash, www.amazon.com slash 3m dash work tunes dash protected dash bluetooth dash technology slash dp slash b0723 cpz close bracket dart about fifty dollars and they are combination hearing protection and bluetooth headphones so you can actually hear your music without destroying your eardrums they're a good gift too for anyone you know with a lawn or wood shop or something at my old house it was a four dash five hour ordeal to mow and trim the property I'd likely have went fully insane without those. Great idea. Useful on a plane too. With minor hearing loss from too many concerts in my 20s, I have to turn the volume to nearly max on a plane, so I usually just put in earplugs and can't watch or listen to anything, but this would help. Step 1. Throw away all your socks. Step 2. Buy 3-5 packages of the same sock. Step 3, enjoy life without ever having to match socks again. I used to only have these specific Adidas ankle socks but they stopped selling them changed them. It was a very sad day. Fitted sheet straps. They keep cheap sheets from popping up at the corners. So now I can use soft sheets that don't cost a fortune and my sleep is undisturbed by them popping loose, greatly improving my quality of life. A good shop vac. You will not believe how many uses around the house you'll find for it. Cobweb removal, water removal, 
gravel removal, vent cleaning, soot trap cleaning, after a good scrub since it's likely dirty from other tasks, car vacuuming, dust sucking, the list goes on. Seriously if you plan to buy or already own a home go get a shop vac. My wife said we needed a new vacuum and made the mistake of sending me out to get one. I love my new shop vac. Mayo. Condoms. My dad's biggest regret. A basic skin care routine. I'm talking like cleanse, moisturize, sunscreen, and if you're really adventurous and need, get yourself a topical for acne or concerns. Amazing for your self-esteem, and also becomes a form of self-care eventually. It's so easy to forget to take care of yourself. First aid kit. Similarly, a fire extinguisher. Light-hearted, but, a pressure cooker. You can get one for around $100, and it can easily cook a genuinely staggering variety of food, and cook it well. Edit, till there are two types of people that use pressure cookers, people who use them to cook food, and people who use them to make bombs. Edit 2, a Randy Payopla who you send it to St. Erily's Ethanges. Every Indian family uses a pressure cooker. I can say with confidence 99% of Indians use this. I can't imagine my life without a pressure cooker. It makes rice, meat, lentils, pulses, beans almost everything in less time. Deleted. First time I used one it was a girl's house and she let me use it. As it popped my back loudly it also pushed out a really loud fart. She looked at me like I just murdered someone. An electric kettle, I'm American. As a UK citizen, a kettle is on a par with actually having food in the house. Holy shit, just got up this morning and it's all gone mental. Thanks for the award. A dash cam for your car can protect you from wrongful claims also vandalisms and theft. I got one. Although I have never been in an accident before knock on wood, the peace of mind that it gives me to know that I have backup evidence or anything of that sort for future issues is calming. Best 50 bucks spent in the last 30 days. A good show ahead. I cannot stress enough how a high quality show ahead can turn getting clean into utterly zen. 30 minute self healing and relaxation session. Edit, ok clarification. I don't shower for 30 minutes every day. Modern rain shower heads use very little water and I only have about 15 minutes to get ready in the morning so this is a rare treat I let myself do once or twice a month. I appreciate the loving comments. Bonus points for a detachable shower head and extra double bonus points if you are a lady who enjoys that particular brand of flying solo. 24. M. I bought a book online about SQL for like 25 bucks and then a course on Udemy for like 11.99. But went from a job earning 35,000 to 55,000 because I took time to learn a new skill. And if I end up staying and becoming a higher level analyst, salary is around 70-75k. Maybe data analysis isn't your gig, but learning a skill can be cheap in terms of money, more time consuming than anything but worthwhile. I make $120,000 a Russ. My primary skill is SQL and pulling data. Yes I have degrees, but I don't really use any of that shit. Moving data is a skill that makes you a god in the business world. An electric toothbrush. Deleted. A SSD. SSDs are a gift from God. A used instrument. Jita. A passport. Although, it depends where in the world you are, where I am it is less than the equivalent of 100 US dollars. Silk pillowcase. Edit, I got a silk pillowcase because I have really really long hair down to my butt, and it keeps it from tangling as badly overnight. 
As a Canadian it is really upsetting to hear about all the things that can supposedly be had for $100 in other places. Deleted. This comment was such a roller coaster I am seriously considering buying one. Meat thermometer. No more cutting open meat to see if it's done, thus leaking juices. A good everyday carry pocket knife. I use mine several times a day. Carbon monoxide alarm. Please get one. Rice cooker. My mom laughed at me when I bought a rice cooker. Now she's a believer. A kitchen scale. Completely changed my food consumption, since I could easily measure portions. I learned what they actually should be, not what we in the US act like they are. That plus my fitness pal, the free version, even, equals me losing 120 pounds over 18 months and developing a much healthier relationship with food and eating. Very simple tools, but great for enacting real, lasting change.